Hey, YouTube, what goes on? Welcome to Live at 705. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Who is in a G.I. Joe Target enraged mood right now? If you're ready to flip out a Target, type a one. If you're staying relatively calm, type a two in the chat. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight, guys? It has been a crazy, wacky, weird, wild day here in Toyland. Uh, all over number 22. <laughs> or in the back, Mr. Firefly. Or the better version of her, the original Baroness. Uh, or of our beach. So guys, obviously we're here to talk some G.I. Joe tonight. We're going to be cracking open some toys, as always. I've been waiting all week to crack this guy up in Midwest Toy Box. I haven't got through the chat yet. I'm about to. But if you're here, dude, thank you again, sir. This sat on my shelf next to the TV, next to my Jaws Shark Funko Pop thing all weekend long. And I was waiting to open it up tonight. So super pumped to get Quint. And obviously we have Wrecker here, which I talked about in my last video from Dorkside Toys. Both of these came in the same delivery, uh, obviously different means, but the same day on uh, July 3rd. And I was stoked that I walked outside and saw them. We'll also talk about G.I. Joe tonight. So let's see who's here tonight. Victor, what's going on, man? Victor says, spoilers, it was a joke. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit positive because things improve throughout the day. Trans Aaron 38, what's going on, man? PA Coalition. I even have to look at the next line. I knew what I was going to say. How are you, sir? I got to get caught up on your videos. Um, studio, what's going on, man? It wasn't horrible. I mean, I had the spinning waiting wheel for about two hours when it finally let me put Beachhead in my cart. Sir, that is incredible. You managed to get one. Uh, I got some later in the day. Um, so that's incredible. Hey, Eric, what's going on, man? Always good to see you here, sir. Trans Aaron 38 said, yeah, it was crazy today on Target. You know we're talking some Target Joes in a few minutes here. Uh, Studio says, tomorrow is the Viper and the Baroness. I need that Viper. Dude, I'm saying it right now. If I get a Viper tomorrow, this upcoming Wednesday, a week from tonight, I will freaking crack this open finally. I would not do it with only one because God forbid the darn thing would break or something horrible would happen. Um, I at least wanted one in the box. So uh, if I get one tomorrow, which I, am, I intend to try to get, uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow. They do go back up, as you just said. We'll talk more about that. Uh, I will be cracking one open next week here, finally, after having it in the background on Live 705. Hey, Stanley, what's going on, man? Good to see you here. James, a.k.a. Ratface44 in the house. What's going on, man? Hey, there's Midwest Toy Box. Sir, thank you again. Cracking them open tonight. He was on the shelf all week long, staring at me next to my Jaws shark, but I wanted to open him here with the gang. Mama said, pop you out. Still has the best name and all the freaking Instagram, YouTube, MySpace, Snapchat, you name it. He's got the best freaking name right there. Um, Midwest Toy Box says, everybody get Joe's home. Oh, we're talking Joe's, man. We're talking Joe's. Uh, Mama said he got everybody besides Baroness and Viper. So we said tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, they'll be up. Roadblock has already shipped. Uh, I passed on the roadblock. I thought about it really long and hard. To be a bit of a completionist, I did not grab him. Uh, let's see here. BC uh, Barker Creation says, yo, Joe or no Joe. That's right. Stoked or joked. As I said in the comments, guys, we'll share my thoughts in a few minutes here. Hey, Moose Dream. What's going on, man? Welcome, man. We're going to talk some Target G.I. Joes. Midwest Toy Box says, I was able to snag a beachhead and a trooper. Likewise, Midwest Toy Box. Spoiler alert, that's who I was able to grab as well. Uh, I have one beachhead already. He's off camera. His legs are funky. I don't think it's right, so I needed a second one of him. Uh, and I did want another trooper because it's the best figure of 2020 in my estimation. Super Deathinator says his favorite. Fabulous Disaster. What's going on? Welcome. And that's a great picture there with Joe Camel going on. That's awesome. Mill City, Chris. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything yet, man. We're going to talk some G.I. Joes. Unless you're talking about what happened at Target today, then you missed a lot. Midwest Box says, you're very welcome, sir. Thank you, man. Hey, Fog Wonder, what's going on, my good sir? How are you today? Trans Aaron says, it's crazy today. I agree. Bryant 3B, what's going on? What's up? Hey, KXNG, what's going on? How are you, man? I'm doing fine. Hey, there's William Harris in the house. I got a Cobra Island Trooper. That's awesome, man. Me too. Freaking love those things. Uh, Mill City Chris says, I have an odd feeling that everyone, everyone's going to order is going to get canceled. Uh, I have positive news on that note. Somebody just said earlier that their their roadblock, I almost said shipwreck, my God. Their roadblock did ship. Uh, also, I was already notified that my beachhead already shipped, uh, as well as being sent the tracking number for my trooper. So they are in route, amazingly. 
Uh, BC Baker Creation says, I managed to score a beachhead and a trooper at about noon. You know what, dude? Same page, man. I tried at nine. I got no dice. Uh, and then, again, good to see that uh, they got put up their back around noon. Shout out to Viper City, Viper Island over on Instagram. I can't think of the name right now. Newer YouTube channel to start an Instagram, I believe. He put the shout out. Plus, Jimmy Han rises. The great Jimmy Han rises to the occasion. Let me know about it as well. Hey, Steven Vids, what's going on? Roblox Shorts. How are you? What's going on? Mill City said, after four hours, I'm clicking ship it. <laughs> I gave up at about 9.45, 10 o'clock, and then managed to get back on around noon. Uh, yo, Cody, what's going on, Cody? How are you, man? I know you scored some Joes today. Transarian said, I'm hoping for a Viper and a Baroness. Cody said, yeah, I've been giving up on, uh, yeah, I've given up tomorrow on Baroness. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on Baroness on my end of it. I, I do have one out of package and an extra one, but. I'm going to not be going for a third. Uh, Steven Vid says, that neck of jaws looks amazing. Yeah, man. Midwest Toy Box all day hooking me up. Looking forward to cracking him open in a few minutes. Mill City Chris said, I really want a Viper tomorrow. Yeah, you and most of us, right? Brian Gorin says, open that. <laughs> it's get, if, I get, if I get another Viper tomorrow, it's getting open next Wednesday. Um, if I don't get another Viper tomorrow, I'm going to still think about it. But I've been holding off, man. Till I get a second one just for safe. Uh, listening in the car, crash, no crashing. <laughs> Moose Dream, no crashing. Hopefully my voice does not distract you too much. Brian 3B says, I was finally able to get my first Cobra Trooper. That is awesome, man. Good job, man. Stan says, anyone watching? Lo Dude, Loki was great. No spoilers for everybody, obviously. I loved Loki today. Some people were hating on it on YouTube, which surprised me. I really enjoyed it today, and I can't be more pumped up for the finale next week. Moose Dream says, got Trooper Beachhead and Firefly. Very good. Firefly sold out pretty quick too, so that's pretty cool, man. Leonard Nichols says, was able to get a Trooper, which is all I needed. That's awesome, sir. Uh, finishing up the group is a good way to go about it. Bagless is asking my Roblox shift. That's awesome. Cody says, I was waiting for it to get canceled. Yeah, I said the same thing to a buddy of mine. I said, wait and see. It's going to get canceled. And sure enough, they shipped. Andre, what's going on? West Coast. West Coast, I can't do W's. West Coast correspondent in the house. What's going on, man? And Fog Wonder says he got a beachhead and a trooper as well. All right, guys. So as I said in the chat, I think we're all caught up here. If I missed you, I apologize. Try to get to everybody. So uh, again, a lot of hubbub up over these today. As far as I can tell, the Baroness and this guy were the first ones to sell out today. Uh, happened really quickly, obviously. Um, I would have loved to have gotten another Viper today. I was not trying for a Baroness. Tomorrow morning, I will be trying for another Viper as well. Uh, to at least get two. Um, I would like to get three. I, I might see if maybe my girlfriend will try to help me out and she'll try to order one as well. I, I would like to have, again, two and three is better than two. I'm sorry to say it, but they are army builders, right? Um, so yeah, I'm still hoping these also show up in stores as well. That would be very nice. Um, I, I don't know if they will. I, if they do, that'd be freaking amazing. Uh, but I, again, I did get a beachhead because I was not happy with the legs on mine. The drop down legs seemed a little bit goofy for some reason. Not really sure what the story was there. Um, I already have an open Firefly and a Firefly in box back behind. Um, so I was not looking to get into that. Uh, so I was okay there. Uh, and then additionally, um, I uh, did not try for anything else besides those. Um, I saw that the Trooper was available for a good part of the day afternoon. I know it shut down uh, earlier on um, around like 9.05 a.m. But I do know that it did pop up later on again. Um, and it was up for a long time. Last I checked, the Trooper was still available. Roadblock was available. Firefly was available. So everything went up noon Eastern Standard Time. Jimmy Han rose to the occasion. Just saying you gave me a shout out earlier, man. Let me know that those figures were up um, to order. Um, I know Jimmy partook in some of those as well. Um, Will says, hoping they show up in a store. Dude, I'll tell you what, man. If I walked in and saw a Viper um, or even a Baroness to help somebody else out on the, on the shelf, I think I'd probably... Uh, pee a little, to be honest, uh, if it was in the store. Uh, I'm not going to rule it out yet. You know, if they have them this widely available online, they might allocate some cases for stores once again. Mom said Poppy says Trooper is still up. So that's, see, that's solid. Now, as somebody who has four Troopers and was pretty proud of that, again, I wasn't going to sell them when they were going for like some crazy sick amount of money. Same thing with Beachhead, especially since I didn't think he was working right. Um, I never would have sold those. I wanted those in my collection. But it does sting a little bit. You got to be honest. You know, you had a figure that was worth $150 that overnight, not even overnight, within a few hours, drop down. But again, I'm okay with that because the point of buying these isn't to sell them. We're not buying to invest. We're buying in order to have things in our collection that we enjoy. So again, I'm, I am I can live with that. I can live, I can sleep fine tonight that I didn't sell mine. No way I could have made a lot of money on it, you know, a year after I bought it. 
which really a year after to me wouldn't be scalping. But again, you want to see some interesting scalp talk, go check out uh, Nerd Zoic on YouTube. He did a video about what he felt the scalper was, and he's taking some serious heat recently. He's another Pennsylvania guy like me, so I try to watch his stuff. Jimmy says it may not show up in stores. The target pages says last. That's a good point, Jimmy. Very good point, sir. When it says last chance, that would make sense to then put it in stores, right? Um, hey, four feathers, dude. Oh, no, don't worry about it, man. Happy you are here, I'd say. Yeah, I'd lose it. I laugh my head. Yeah, I agree, Will. Um, Dame W says, what up? You think the Bad Batch wrecker will pop up in stores? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this will definitely be in stores. Um, I, that's not, it's, as far as I know, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, this is not an exclusive. Uh, this this will be a wide release figure. I got mine at, at uh, Big Bad Toy Store because uh, I just happened to see it and I grabbed it. But no, I would think that'll be in all stores. Now, again, how much, are, how many are going to be out there and, you know, that sort of thing is always up for debate. Uh, Mama's Poppy Loud says, as soon as mine ships, I'm going to try for another trooper and see what happens. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, that's how I felt too, dude. Um, yeah, not not worth the chance. Stanley says, do you think they are going to make a figure of Omega? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They already made a pop. Pops tend to come out before the figures from what I've seen. So I think, yeah, you'll see an Omega figure for sure. Uh, Mr. Harris says, it only let me order one trooper. I'd like to get more. Yeah, that's one thing I did like though is that they were keeping it down to one, um, you know, for customers, just that, so that people can get them. Uh, Trans Aaron says, hey, has anyone ordered from Alex Express? I ordered three Vipers and they have good price too. No, I haven't heard of them, uh, that person actually. Uh, is that something, where would you locate that at Trans Aaron? Where would that be available? Um, Alexi Express? Yeah, let me know. I'm unfamiliar. Um, is legit no problems for me? I don't know anything about it. So sorry to keep bumping the camera, guys. Uh, maybe we'll see more around Snake Eyes movie. This is possible. It's very possible. So, guys, so basically to sum it all up today, um, what I what I thought was kind of, I guess I'll say funny. I don't know. I, I get the outrage early in the day. You know, people tried at 9 a.m. Um, things did not go really well. And there were already YouTube videos up that quickly complaining. Well, then by noon, when their videos hit, you could order most of those figures again. So, I mean, I would have expected that. I don't know what happened with Baroness and I don't know what happened um, with the Viper. Uh, I know some people have mentioned to me, maybe there was a problem with what was going on regarding the link. Um, you know, maybe they suspected somebody, the, the bots were at, at, at some type of attack at the bots. You know, the bots, we hear about all the bots were ripping into them and maybe they shut it down because of that reasoning. I don't know. But uh, one way or the other, it was interesting to see what went on. But again, if you tried at nine, most people got shot down. And then um, later on, at noon, Eastern Standard Time is when a lot of people had success. That's when I got mine, even though Baroness and Viper will be back up tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard. So if you were unaware of that, guys, 9 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, we are going to be getting uh, another release uh, of the Baroness and the Viper. God knows what it's going to be like. I, I'm hoping it's like it was today at noon when things went quickly. But again, there's no freaking way for us to know how it's going to go until we get there. So my target rage was much subdued later in the day when they put those back up and they were up for quite a long time. At least the majority of the figures that I that I wanted, you know. So you guys, you know, let me know what you think, obviously. I know our shared opinions now. Feel free to throw them in the comments later on as well. Adam, hello. I don't know if I said hi to you. So hi, I'm sorry if I missed you coming in. Uh, hey, Carl Collectible Hunts. Hey, what's going on, man? I missed some people coming in. I apologize. There we go. How you doing, Carl? How you doing, Adam? Thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, my target rage is subdued because everything went back up around noon Eastern Standard Time, uh, which made me a little less angry. Um, so I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you tomorrow, my overall opinion, if the Vipers are easily accessible or if they sell out by 9 a.m. in one second tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow for sure. Midwest Toy Box says, what's going on? Adam, Four Feathers says he watched that Nerdzoic video and he was dead on. Yeah, I agree, Four Feathers. You know, I, I know people, people are very quick to scream scalper. And I'm not justifying or defending anybody. Um, I don't want to paint myself in a corner like Nerdzoic did. But he, uh, he definitely, um, he put it out there. He, in my estimation, he was fair with what he had to say. <laughs> Mama Sapapio said the IG post said Viper and Baroness will be open for pre-order tomorrow, so it may not be in stock. Okay. Well, if they're open, I'm, I'm good with a pre-order if I have to. Again, it's better than seeing sold out. Darth Clueva says, hey, what's going on? Hello, all. How are you, Darth? What's going on, man? And Mr. Harris says, that's what I was thinking, too. So, all right, guys. So that gets some of the G.I. Joe rage out of here. 
Um, again, pay attention to Instagram and, and, and your Twitter and all that good stuff to see what's going on regarding the drops tomorrow. I, I'm, in, I'm in it for a Viper tomorrow if I can get one. So that's my game plan. So whatever you're trying to do tomorrow, everybody, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I guess that'd be noon um, out on the West Coast. Uh, and then your mountain and all that other timing that I'm going to pay attention to. So, guys, cracked open record while we were talking here. I am behind, I think, one episode. I don't think I watched last week's. So, please keep any uh, spoilers to yourselves for now. KJ Smith says, I had Firefly in my cart, and no matter what I did, I couldn't check out. Yeah, KJ, similar vote to me at 9 a.m. I, I clicked Viper, and it said it was in the cart. Then it was gone. Then it said pre-order, actually, which is weird. It popped up and said pre-order, and then that disappeared. So, that, again, I don't know if they had their wires crossed or whatever. So, uh, here's Wrecker from the Bad Batch. I do want to get into ripping open these figures and get to the Jaws, because tonight's an AEW night, and I know a lot of us watch AEW wrestling. So, um, so Wrecker, uh, I was admittedly not a Clone Wars fan. I didn't watch the show very much, uh, the cartoon really at all, uh, before Bad Batch came out. I watched the final four or five episodes. Uh, so, I really jumped on because of the cartoon. So, they hooked me, hooked me uh, hook, line, and sinker. Uh, a lot of accessories. I know Black Series, we tend to say, not a lot of accessories with these guys. They've been doing pretty well. Hunter has some decent accessories. We're looking behind me right now. I'll grab him. My Star Wars shelf fell over because of hashtag loose pegs because it's 95 freaking degrees right now. We get a backpack. We get the bucket, which obviously is hollowed out to go over his head. We get the blade. We get a gun. And I think that might be detachable there as well. So let's get the figure out of here. I'm not messing around tonight, guys. Um, love Wrecker. As soon as I saw the cartoon, I immediately said I wanted a Wrecker in my collection. One thing I will say, I don't, and I, again, could be wrong, I don't know why he's considered a premium figure. You know, I don't know what the story is there. Um, I like that his fists kind of come into the middle, so there's some articulation going on for you. So we do have the soft shoulder pad that gets out of the way. I do like, again, the logo on the shoulder pad came out great. Head sculpt is good, as far as I can tell, based on what I've seen in the cartoon. Arms are a good size. Rotation will go all the way around. That pad will lift up. Head, love to get the attitude in the head. Real great rotation on the head. Guys, you know I'm not a professional reviewer, so I'm not going to pretend to be. I'm just giving you somewhat of an idea. Um, I was very curious if on the back of the packaging here, hang on. On the back of the packaging, they have him touching his fists. And I know with the Hulk, a lot of us wanted the Hulk to be able to do that, and he couldn't. So I was very curious if he'd be able to do that here. Now, he doesn't have two fists. I don't think there's an extra fist in the packaging, but you can kind of get the fists together. In fact, he can do them all the way. So I kind of like that with the articulation. That came out pretty good. He stands very well, and we do not get the waist cut, but we do get the diaphragm, which I prefer on my bigger figures. Kind of looks like he's in some type of dance here, right? Ooh, okay. So he came out relatively good. Get him up on the stand. Accessories, as I said, we get his backpack, which is really in there. And guys, let me know, why is he considered a deluxe figure? I mean, he's not that much bigger. I'll put Hunter up here with him in a couple minutes, but he's not that much bigger than Hunter. So I don't really know why he was uh, used as a, a deluxe and they charged the extra money for him. Oh God, there's my kryptonite, that tape. You know me, guys, I trouble that tape every freaking week. Let's get this out of here. All right, here we go. So, yeah, that's my only complaint, not really being a huge Black Series collector. I don't know why it is that they have him considered um, a deluxe. So let me get this stuff up on the stand so you guys can get a better look at his accessories. And we'll take a look at the chat and see what's going on over here. So let's see here. Um, Four Feather says, would, uh, would love to get a Baroness, a Viper, or Infantry Trooper. Had no luck. Yeah, dude, my, I've never seen an, you know how much hunting I do. I've never seen an infantry trooper in a, in an actual big box location. If you didn't watch my hunt from this week yet, over at Disabout Action Figures, right here on YouTube, actually, um, I did find uh, Zartan uh, for the first time in a big box store. But I picked up all my infantry troopers. I got one online. I think it was Big Bad. I got ugh, four other ones. I got four, they got five total over um, at VR Hobbies, which most of you know. That's a story I like to talk about a lot. KJ Smith says, I had Firefly in my cart. Oh, yep, I'm sorry. I read that earlier, I think. My bad. Dame says, new to the G.I. Joe figures, but are the Cobra Troopers and Vipers? Yes, they are Target exclusives. Um, I uh, Guys, let's discuss, too. I don't remember. Were they $22.99 the first time around? 
That I cannot remember if they were or not. Um, I don't remember them being $22.99, but they were this time around. I thought they were normal price. So let somebody know, let us know in the comments, guys. Were they $22.99 originally? But yes, they are Target exclusives. Andre says the Cobra Viper is still up on the website, bro. It, it, for, to order right now? That's not good because I, I I can't get off and do it because I'm doing a live. Um, last I saw, you could not order the Cobra Viper. So that's interesting. The Quint figure looks awesome. I agree. We'll crack him open. Dame, all the Joes today are Target exclusives. They are. Okay, so they did used to be $19.99. says Vinny Boom Boom. By the way, Vinny, hello. I think I saw you coming in earlier. Sorry about that. Um, Moose Dream says Wrecker is not worth thirty dollars. Yeah, man, I don't get why uh, Moose Dream. I don't get why he is thirty. I really don't. Um, as I was saying, I'll do a side by side with Hunter. You get him here without knocking over. Oh, there goes my entire shelf again. So all my black series are currently on the floor. Um, here is Hunter. Hunter, as freaking Omega would say, Hunter. I'm sorry, but her her, her accent's getting to grind me a little bit. So uh, he is significantly bigger than Hunter. That seems pretty accurate. But I, uh, Stanley says he's premium because probably it's bigger. I, I guess I just, when I think of a premium figure, I think of the Hulk, um, compared to like a Bucky cap body. To me, that's a big difference in size, right? Renegade biker 24 says I could not get Firefly, but I was able to get one of the troopers and I did not talk to target corporate about it as well. Um, I did talk to target corporate as well as I have yet to get the Baroness of coil. Interesting. Let me know what they say if they get back to you. Uh, let's see here. Vinny says, uh, no problem. Okay. Mama Spoppy Wats is probably because he's slightly bigger than like Zal. Okay. That's a good point. Zeb, Zeb was also considered, um, a bigger figure. So again, I try to go by Marvel legends cause they're all six inch figures, but I suppose I cannot really do that. That's not fair. Um, Brian three B says Hasbro price increase. Yep. They are. Seems like all their standard 1999s are at 22 now, right? That pretty much is what happened. Um, thank you, Moose Stream, for confirming. Vinny Boom Boom, there it is. Hi, disavowed. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, Jaguar Shark Man, that is an insane name. That's awesome. We're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> we are going to need a bigger boat. I'm going to need a bigger display desk to put them out here. Uh, I know I was talking with Midwest Toy Box, who so hooked me up with this. Thank you again, sir. Um, I know that uh, they also have a supposedly a shark jaws size scale figure coming out next year to this scale. To an, so if this is an eight inch figure, figure as people have to correct me saying i would like to know how friggin' big is that shark gonna be we are gonna need a bigger boat because if that's in scale that eight inch figure which i believe he is i mean that's gonna be what i mean if you if, say he's six foot tall and he's eight inches here so they say the shark's 25 feet in the movie i believe i'm pretty sure he says 20 footer and then he gets corrected and says no it's 25 feet right so 25 feet you figure if he's six foot tall that's 6 12 18 24 that's going to have to be like four times bigger than him. So that's going to be a really freaking big, big, big inch figure right there. So if they do what they're supposed to do, Marvin Rogers, how are you? I was able to get one of each on Cobra Island Joe's roadblock has already shipped. So fingers crossed. Don't buy more than one or they'll cancel your order. That's what I was worried about as well. That's why I tried to play it safe. Uh, Jaguar shark man says the shark will be amazing. Hell yeah, man. If they keep that in scale, the way they're saying they're going to, that will be freaking sick. All right, so let's see if I can get Hunter to stay there without knocking things over. If you're new to the channel, you know I tend to knock things over a hell of a lot on here. So let's get to what he looks like with the hell with the bucket on. Try to stick with the word bucket, right? Um, I still don't like how they have these slip over. I think it's a great concept, but I really get concerned about paint rub over time. I know I had most of mine that have these sorts of buckets holding them like wedged between their arm because I don't want to take a chance on taking them on and off all the time. These I might keep on. Obviously, Huntress was on. So that was only half correct what I said. Um, I'm not as worried about the head sculpt on the animated figures, whereas I do have the uh, Katie Sack off back behind me here. I don't want to take a chance on having her face sculpt get messed up, obviously. Uh, we get storage, which is great. Anytime you get storage on the figure, I love it. That's why I love Joe's as much as I do. Um, backpack, obviously, we'll click on in the back. So let's get him loaded up. I'm guessing it's going to go this way, other way, of course. All right, so backpack goes on. And then we get the gun, and the gun does have a peg. So I'm assuming that this will also plug in similar to Hunter's. Uh, that's his blaster. 
So I'm guessing that will plug in probably on the leg or the arm somewhere. I'm not seeing it. Maybe on the back. I don't know. But I want to see it in his hand anyway. So we do get uh, one oh, like grabbing hand, like his open hand here. I guess that's also a trigger finger. This looks They look kind of both similar. They hold the gun. This is definitely meant to be the main trigger finger, trigger hand. So there that is. So there he is. We'll probably get him holding the blaster a little bit here on an angle. So I get up and bumping the gosh darn table. So that's good enough for now. So I do like this guy. Again, I am not a huge, huge Black, huge, huge Black Series collector. Uh, however, again, I'm at the point now where I have enough of them that I wanted to grab the Bad Batch because I do enjoy the cartoon. And again, when I watch a cartoon, I like to be able to put the figures I enjoy on the side next to them. So that's how I like to roll with that for sure. Uh, let's see here. What else we got going on? Oh, I miss anybody here. Renegade Biker. Uh, said, I think that the reason why Hasbro has increased the price of the figures is because the price of oil. Uh, yeah, I agree, dude. Yeah, definitely oil has gone up. Uh, that's been an issue. Pardon me, we'll take a swig of some water here. So, yeah, and again, we've known it was coming for a long time. We've known this this price hike has been coming. It wasn't that far off. It was just a matter of time until we finally got there. Um, so, yeah, here we are. We made it, and it is what it is at this point, you know. Um it was just something that we knew was eventually going to have to happen with these figures, unfortunately. If you're curious on size, there's another comparison. Uh, there is our Bo-Katan. And she, as I said, I have her kind of holding the bucket underneath her arm. But that's actually a pretty good height comparison. You can see Bo-Katan to the troopers. Um, and then if you were wondering, we also have on the side over here, I have Boba Fett. But honestly, with his backpack, I don't think he's going to fit on that very well. Oh, everything's falling over in my Star Wars shuffle there. It's ridiculous. Uh, let's see if I get Mando up there. All right, so here's Mando. Just for an overall height comparison regarding some more of the live action stuff. So there you go. So I think that breaks down pretty well. So you give Mando about six foot. It makes sense that you make a Stormtrooper a little bit taller, uh, a clone, and then you have your Wrecker. So that kind of gives you a really good idea there regarding the height of these figures. If you were wondering... Um, how that worked out. So I guess all we need now for Bad Batch should be, uh, we mentioned an Omega. Omega. We didn't Omega yet. Uh, and I would assume that we still need to get, I think, an Echo in this style. I know we have the Echo uh, from the Clone Wars original cartoon, the Trooper, but I don't think we have him as one of these guys. And then we also still need Tech, I believe, right? We're waiting on Tech as well. Um, so those are our new Bad Batch figures. I'm happy with it. Again, is it worth $30? That will be up for you to make that decision. I am not quite sure. I ah, I don't know. I, I am somebody who gets buyer's remorse very quickly. Probably more than I get. Fear of missing out. I get buyer's remorse even more. Um, I have no buyer's remorse with him because I do enjoy that show so much. So uh, I'm okay with it. Um, I think that I will be curtailing my Black Series collecting as I finish up the Bad Batch. However, um, he's cool. So I'm good with it, guys. I'm good with it. All right, so let's get to the man of the hour, Mr. Quint. Quite possibly my favorite summertime movie of all time. Where do you guys put Jaws in terms of your favorite movie of all time? I think it might be my top 20 of all time. Summer movies, it's definitely even further up the, li up the ladder, obviously, considering all different summer movies that you could put into that category. This is NECA, if you were unaware. And he is an eight-inch cloth figure, very similar to the elf figure, which I have, uh, the Clark Griswolds that I have, like both variations of him. Um, so that is where he sizes up. So he'll be very large on your shelf, needless to say. Um, let's see here. What have I missed? What have I missed? Marvin Rogers says, is Wrecker considered a deluxe figure? Yes, he was a deluxe figure on price point. Moose Dream says, at 9.42 a.m., I sent a message to Ask Target on Twitter. Why can't I add the collectible Joe items to my cart? Um, let us know what they said, sir. Uh, Quint, love Jaws. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. Uh, Jaguar Sharkman says, so cool. I agree. Freaking love this thing, man. Uh, scared the crap out of me as a kid. Um, when I was a kid, I was fortunate enough. I got to go to Universal Studios in Orlando. I loved that Jaws ride as a kid. It was scary, but I loved it. Love Jaws. Just not a fan of eight inch. Yeah, I, I agree, man. I, 
eight inch figures I tend to get for a reason, like basically around holidays. So I have, as I mentioned, the Clark Griswolds, both. I have the Santa suit and I have his like uh, crazy hockey mask version. Um, I also have the elf. So when I, when the season changes and holidays come around, those go out on my shelf for the holidays. So uh, Quint will always be a figure I'll put out on my shelf, probably from like Memorial Day all the way to Labor Day. So a lot of times when I'm buying specialty figures like this that are outside the realm of my normal collections, what I tend to do is I justify it in my own head by saying, I will get three months out of this figure. For instance, my NECA uh, horror section, which I'll tell you what, guys, you might get a little seasick here. I'm going to move the camera. I haven't done this in a while, okay? Uh, the lighting will not be great, but I'm just going to really quickly show you. Here's my Detoff, if you're curious, real quick. So there's my X-Men Detoff. I didn't intend to do this, but my brain was going toward my horror collection. There is the uh, other X-Men. Then there's my Joes. And I know the lighting's terrible, guys. I didn't plan to do this. AE Dub. There's my Marvel Legends on the shelf. Some other vintage figures going on. But here we go. What I wanted to show you here, uh, I mentioned the NECA figures. So obviously, I have a big NECA collection um, I love the horror movies, <laughs> the horror movies. I love the horror movies. No, I love horror movies, especially, uh, I love Halloween more than anything. I'm a huge Halloween fan. I'm one of those, like almost celebrate Halloween year round guys. So again, I usually don't go off camera like this guys. I apologize if it doesn't look good, but I thought I'd share. So that gives you an idea of my neck of horror collection down below. Uh, that's obviously an Ash. Uh, that's one of my few Mezcos, uh, pinhead down below both versions of it, Freddy. I guess those aren't really NECA. But again, I kind of justify, and there's my army builder shelf, by the way, but I kind of justify it. Sorry about moving the camera, guys. I tend not to do this often, but we'll get back on script here. But what I tend to do is if I can justify it for a holiday purchase, I will. So this will be a summer season figure for me. And I have other summer season figures as well that I will be putting out uh, over time. So damn. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, all right. Here is the response. So Moose Dream says this was Target's response. Um, hello, thank you for reaching out to Guest Relations in regards to your inquiry. We apologize for having issues. Wow, that's all they gave you? <laughs> that's not really an explanation. It's an apology, right? And by the way, guys, I have my fan on back here. It is like freaking 90 degrees. So I don't have AC back here. It's one of my black series all over the freaking floor. Um, let me know in the comments, guys, you know, later on afterwards. If you'd like to see more of my collection in the future, uh, obviously I keep things here on the display table. But if you'd like to see more of my collection in the future, we can arrange that. I have all my shelves and everything, obviously, around the room. So anyways, guys, back to Jaws. Love, Quint. Somebody mentioned we need a Chief Brody. They have one. They made one or they, they, they at least drew one up. Um, and last minute, the likeness rights fell through. So if you look online, you can actually find pictures uh, of the solicit, I believe. And then they had to pull it down of the Brody. So I uh, really love the Brody. Um, would love to get him with this guy as well. Maybe we'll get him next year with the shark. The box art is phenomenal. You guys know I'm a box art snob. I keep all the boxes. Um, the minute I saw the freaking beer cans with this guy, I, I knew I couldn't wait. I was going to try to find him. I was going to do a whole bit on my hunt videos. Like, oh, I'm hunting the figure. Like, Quentin was hunting the shark. And I finally broke down and said, Midwest, you're a good man. Help me out. I, I need it for 4th of July. Um, here we do have what he includes. The hat, the bandana, the machete, the machete, the bat, the beer cans, the harpoon gun, the rifle, interchangeable hands. They went the extra mile with this guy. Freaking, oh man, the hat is iconic, but that freaking bandana looks so good on this guy. Um, universal sticker on there, or I should say add on there. Down below, we also get the universal logo. That's the word I was looking for. And obviously we do get the people responsible, Randy Falk at the top of that list of NECA. I don't know if a barcode will help you, to be honest, but if you need it, there it is right there. There wasn't really any type of other write-up on here. We do get the really cool Jaws logo on the side, and I really like the freaking box. Look at this, guys. Let me bring this in close. They have the freaking girl swimming. That's so cool. I freaking love that. Um, obviously, with Jaws right there on the front, and then Shark Battle. So that is so freaking awesome, man. I just freaking love this figure already. I haven't even opened it yet. So... That's awesome. Oh, let's jump through the chat here and then we'll crack this guy open. Um, don't apologize. I appreciate your sharing your personal collection. Okay, cool, man. 
And again, I'd be willing to show more in the future. I just don't know how exciting it is for people to see that. But if, if you dig it, I'd show more in the future. I have some plastic model kits like the F-14A Tomcat, like the Sky Striker and the A-10 Warhog, a.k.a. Cobra Rattler, and the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier. Dude, the Nimitz. The Nimitz is the freaking air carrier involved in the UFO stuff going on, isn't it? The USS Nimitz. I'm pretty sure it is, man. I'm a huge UFO buff. I got pulled back in recently because of all the stuff going on with the report. The Nimitz is what got freaking buzzed by like 20 of those freaking UFOs. I could do a whole video on that. <laughs> I won't because this isn't a, that type of channel. But um, that's awesome, man. That's really cool. Um, Midwest Toy Box says, hell yeah, more of the collection. Anthrax. Marvin Rogers says, thanks for showing us your collection. You're welcome, man. Um, I plan on making a six-inch figure as well as making a remote control. That is awesome, man. That'd be freaking sick. Um, I will try to check that video out, dude. Um, I am in the planning stages. That is awesome. Um, HAB, my wallet is going to hurt Marvel Legends, Power Rangers, Lightning Collection. Yeah, I heard that this freaking month, they said July. I think Ryan Ting told us that July is going to kill us with Marvel Legends. So be prepared to shell out some more cash. Sleeping collectibles. Dude, love the new look, man. Love the old look, obviously, but have to say, very cool, man. Digging what you did there. Also, I checked out your video today. I don't think I commented, though. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> so I need to comment on that. But that was really cool how you and Space Buns managed to track down all of those new um, WWE Elite figures. I've been seeing some of those pop up in my stores as well. Um, I have not seen the, I think it's Mandy. Was it Mandy that you found? Um, I, if I'm saying the wrong blonde WWE wrestler's name, I apologize. She's the only one I haven't seen yet. So my hunt coming out, uh, I'll see more of that. So very cool sleeping. Thanks for stopping by, man. Give him a follow. Give him a sub, guys. Good dude. And as I always say, support each other, guys. You know, I would like to say follow everybody. Like, you know, follow, follow Andre, you know, follow Midwest. Like, I try to get that stuff out there. But, you know, follow each other, guys. We're a community here. We're a group of people to talk a lot. So try to follow one another if you can. If I'm not following you, hit me up. Send me a message on Instagram and uh, let me know. Because, again, Instagram gets tough when I'm trying to convert things to YouTube. So if you're wondering here, this is just a blue water background. I'm not sure that shows up on camera. But it's just kind of meant to be water in the background. So that's okay. You can spend extra money on the card. Because here is the figure. And boom, look at this freaking guy. Freaking accessories galore with this thing. Freaking incredible. You're very welcome, man. Love that, Quint. Great figure. Good pickup. Yeah, man. And I got help. Midwest Toy Box hooked me up. I did not find it. Renegade says, well, says he was deployed on the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier when I was in. And my squadron, oh, it shifted, was based at uh, NAS Miramar. It was a four, uh, F-14A Tomcat squadron called. Dude, that is awesome, man. Thank you for your service, first and foremost. That is incredible. That's very cool. Thank you for sharing that, man. That's awesome. Samuel, how are you? Awesome collection. I'm feeling the She-Hulk. Yeah, man. I was pretty excited to pick her up. I dug her much more than the gray one. I thought Jaws was a Build-A-Figure. I, I don't think so, but God knows if it has a Build-A-Figure, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of pieces to get it together. So I did not bring scissors back. Hopefully I can snip these relatively easily. Yeah, I can. Those will come off pretty easily here. All right, so let me get this crack. I do have a razor blade here if I need it. I don't. came right off. Lose an eye back here. There we go. So I think that's all of our support mechanisms for Quint. Packaging was spot on. They did a nice job getting it all in here. Guys, let's just do one more good look here. I know I've been really burying the lead with this guy. I, I want one more good look at him out of the box with all those accessories because it's going to be sad almost to take all those accessories out of, the, out of this box. But they just went the extra mile with this thing, man. Seriously, like... I really, really hope they did well with this because um, I just, the, the effort they put in with this figure is just freaking amazing. So I really, really hope that they they made out in this. Hey, Space Buns is in the house. What's going on, Space Buns? Nice to have a talk with you here. I enjoy seeing you and your good sir in your hunt videos. You guys really are killing it over there. Always love seeing when you pop up in the PA hunts as well. So awesome to see. Always love when we get the the guest appearance while sleeping is at work and we get space buns killing those toy aisles. So thank you for stopping by as well. It's greatly appreciated. Midwest toy box says, dude, the beer cans have the NECA logo on them. That is insane. All right, let's get this guy out of here, man. So first we'll get him out. Hopefully that foot's going to be okay. I'm already nervous there. All right. So let's get that to stand off to the side. Let's get some of the trash out the way. 
All right. So I believe I read somewhere he is actually on oh, freaking hat, man, that he is actually on the new quote unquote new body for the cloth figures. Yeah. Yeah. We have rotation now in the ankles. Uh, we have that rocking ankle. Whereas I don't think the original cloth figures did. I really wish I would have thought ahead to bring down my Clark Griswold to get him out here for a comparison or even elf would have been fun. Right. Unfortunately, I was thinking too much about GI Joe. This freaking head sculpt is incredible. I mean, they got the chops, the hair, the mutt. Oh, we got all sorts of rotation with the head. Oh, dude, Midwest Toy Box. Thanks again, man. Hair in the back, phenomenal. I'm not going to mess around bending them around too much just because these with the cloth figures, the cloth on these guys can very easily. I don't think he ever wears hat backwards, but I could dig that look, right? Man, the likeness is insane to the actor. That is ridiculous. Um, I believe I was told by Midwest Toy Box or somebody else, he was drunk on the set like all the time, which is actually kind of cool in some weird way. Um, all right, so let's get him up here. That is incredible how great he came out, guys. So freaking cool. NECA definitely stepped it up. I agree, Midwest Toy Box. Absolutely. Marvin says, how many NECA ambassadors in the house? I, I am ashamed to say I started as one and I fell off. <laughs> Omega Weapon 13, what's going on, man? How are you? What's going on, man? I saw you on the Toy Migos last night. Uh, Middle Sir Box says he's going to need a bigger boat for sure. Much improved. I agree on that body type for sure. Another neck ambassador, Mr. Harris. All right, so let's get some of these accessories out. Are they taped in here? Is my kryptonite in here? Yes, there's my kryptonite, the scotch tape. All right, but there we go. That's not as bad. It's not as tightly taped in there as they do with the freaking legends. Man, these are well done. All right, guys, this is freaking cool. Uh, if you're even if you're not a Jaws fan, if you're just a classic movie fan, I'm telling you, I know it seems a little bit pricey. This is worth the pickup. Seriously, I'm like shaking. I don't want to break anything with this guy. All right, let's take a look at the guns first. Man, there is our freaking spear gun. That's very well done. I would say be very careful with this. That that doesn't break. That's actually a little bit sharp. It's not for kids. If there's kids watching, 16 and younger, which you're not supposed to be, but if you are, be careful. Knives are sharp. All right. So spear gun came out freaking great. Here is the rifle. Man, you get the straps. You can put one around him. He's holding one. Did a really nice job with the plastic on this. You can't really see it too well on camera. It's like a matted plastic. So that came out really nice. Man, these are great. So freaking cool. Oh, what else we got going on over here? I don't miss anybody's comments. NECA 8-inch have been clunky in the past. Yeah, man. I Mine is kind of stand there, obviously. Um, love the Toy Migos Quickie Minis. <laughs> we need Ernie back, right? All right, so let's start off here. Do a couple things. We're running a little long here. and We're not long, but we're getting close. We're already at 42. So I want to make sure I, I don't go over about 50 minutes uh, tonight. But there, let's get that gun on them. Oh, it's freaking sick. All right, and then we have the harp. We have the harpoon gun, our spear gun, which I'm guessing I can probably put into a. Oh, I'm not even doing it, guys. I'm not messing around with putting anything in a trigger hand with these. I I just can't take the chance on freaking breaking it. I got to mess around with it off camera first. Maybe I'll post some pictures later on to give you guys a little bit better of an idea of what's going on. Four feather says spear gun looks great. Rifle does too. Great detail. I agree. Oh, man, so many accessories for me to lose. I love how they put the tray over this, by the way. NECA, good call. I appreciate that. Because what I do with these guys is when I put them away, I don't leave my seasonal figures out year-round. I will repackage them. And I'll keep that tray so that I am able to store everything in the box that I don't lose anything, you know, over the tra in translation regarding the figure. Man, okay. All the hands. We're not even getting into the hands, guys, because there's just so many here. I'm not popping hands off tonight, but let's get the beer cans out of here. We'll take a look at the head sculpt with that on there. And we'll give him a baseball bat. I think that seems fair. Oh, what the hell? Get the machete out too. We got time. All right. Hands are staying in the packaging, guys. Um, so if I can't fit an accessory in that hand, I won't put it in. And again, if you're wondering, if you haven't had these figures before, that pops right back in for safety purposes. So I love that. Let's put it over here. All right, on display, chat, what's going on? I mentioned that already. Damn, that guy looks good. I agree. Marvin says, do the boots go all the way up? I'll tell you in a minute. Probably not. No. 
Um, and actually, did he have boots on in the movie? He might have had some type of uh, low boot or sneaker. What do you think? But no, they're this is the usually with these figures, what they do is they because they invest so much money on the cloth goods and the accessories, uh, and obviously the head sculpt and likenesses and all that good stuff. Um, you will not get much articulation. It's the same body usually. And they cover it up with these, obviously. Um, all right, so let's see here. Here's the beer can. And like Midwest said, that is awesome. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me put the light back. Freaking NECA beer. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Lots of accessories. Yeah, man, I don't want to lose any of these. Need Brody Hooper. Yeah, we need, we need them all. I'll do it at Orca. Oh, my God. And you know what? His story about obviously del del uh, delivering the bomb, that is still, to this day, one of the most haunting stories I've heard told in a movie. Like, he just freaking nails it, giving that, I guess you can call it a monologue. All right, guys, so there is the head sculpt with the bandana. Looks equally awesome. Oh, it's, so, just so, it's just so well done. The thoughts, the, the amount of time they went in to building this guy and just putting together this line of accessories is just mind blowing that NECA went that this far. I mean, I know people hate on NECA for a lot of different reasons. Some of it's somewhat justified. Some of it is not in my estimation, but seriously figures like this, where else are you going to get a figure that comes with a freaking crushed beer can? He has a crushed can from when he's sitting there with Hooper and he crushes the can in front of Hooper. And then Hooper freaking crushes the paper cup. Like, it's just so freaking cool, man. So let's see if I can get some of the accessories in his hands. And then we're going to get ready to call it a night. As we are pretty long in the tooth for the evening. I'm pretty sure he'll hold this machete. Machete, right? Yep, he'll hold that for us. All right, let's get that in there. And then I think this is a trigger finger. So he's not going to hold the baseball bat tonight. So there it is. There's the machete up close if you wanted to see that. Let's get one more rotation around here to get him with his other accessories on the stand. And here's the baseball bat. I'm guessing this might be the same bat or a similar bat that they use with the turtles. I mean, different scale, but I mean, a baseball bat's a baseball bat, I suppose. So guys, there it is. I highly suggest picking this guy up. He's freaking incredible. I mean, what else can you really say? Um, just an awesome, awesome, awesome figure. Um, the accessories are just mind blowing with this thing. Um, so uh, again, if you're even remotely a Jaws fan or you're like me and you like to do seasonal shelves in your collection, this would be a perfect summer. Again, you're getting Memorial Day to Labor Day out of this guy. Yeah, he stands fantastic. I saw that, that comment. I'll get to that momentarily. Omega Web 13 says, I use a fishing tackle box. Yeah, man. Good call. Dudes, definitely. Um, I keep a lot of stuff in box if I don't use it. I, I do have one of those little like art supply kind of dividers. Jay Girk the collector got me that for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, also, I have started, I bought like the little bags. My girlfriend yells at me because I call these uh, 10 cent bags. I don't know if I can see that on YouTube or not. <laughs> but I bought a butt buttload of these on Amazon. There's Cody. So I did start bagging them individually and labeling them. This one's not labeled, but the rest are. So I kind of doing a couple different things nowadays. You know, not that I need, will plan to sell anything, but if you do, you got to sell those accessories, right? Vinny Boom Boom, great name, says, yes, be careful this about my neck of defenders of the earth. Broken half. Yeah, man. Um, Infinity Equation, you guys know, I watch them every Friday. There's the sticker back there and over here. Great guys. Check out Dark Jokers in, Dante, Laser Pants, Ryan, Alex, Bobby Valla, Valibus, all those guys. They really did a great job and do a good job on a weekly basis talking about the neck of figures and how they paint over the joints, and that's why they break so easily. So there's lots of reasons as to why that happens in their manufacturing. But still, when they pull off a figure like this, I mean, where the hell else are you going to get something like this, guys? You're just not. Am I getting too ballsy sliding this up? All right. So for the final shot, let's see if I can slide a little bit closer to the camera. Here we go. It's not going to get macheted in the back of the head. You guys know I've knocked stuff over before. He does stand very well, studio. I agree. Neck of beer. Can't go wrong. I'm going to go to the beer distributor tomorrow and ask for neck of beer and see what they have to say about it and see how that goes, if I can get away with it or not. Uh, Mezco, well, yeah, but this, this, has Mezco made these, though? And keep in mind, like, to me, this was, what was it, th uh, 32 plus shipping, I think, Midwest Toy Box, right? You gave, him, gave it to me for retail plus shipping. 32 for him 
or an $85 Mezco. So here's the thing, guys, and let me know what you think. 32 for this, you're not getting the same type of articulation you're getting with a Mezco, and it's not going to fit in with your six inch figures. But seriously, I'll get this all day over a Mezco of him. Mezco puts out a version of him. You're going to have similar accessories. I can't imagine they do a better job with the accessories. And what do I need him to do? I don't need dynamic poses with this guy. He's going to sit on my shelf holding some weapons. So, yeah, I have to – I'll laugh a little bit at the Mezco thing, but Mezco, go ahead and do it. But this guy I, – I will take this guy at half the price all day, every day, rather than a Mezco. Hey, Greg Miller's in the house. What's going on, Greg? Thanks for stopping by, man. We're just getting ready to tie up some loose ends. Damn, never seen him down in Chambersburg yet. Yeah, you know what? My, my one buddy saw him down in – Oh man, where were they? Hanover area, maybe? I think he said. I can't remember. And he found a case down there at Target uh, here in PA, but I haven't seen it anywhere else yet. Is the bat too long? I'd have to put it in his hand to see, to be honest. Maybe he just likes that extra couple inches on the bat when he's swinging it. Bag and tag him. <laughs> That's right, man. All right. Yeah, it's, ex it's expensive, but look what you're getting. And again, like like uh, Will said earlier, if you want, if you're waiting on a Mezco, it's going to be 85 you know, plus shipping and tax. So, all right, everybody, we're right about at the end of the night. I thank you all so much for stopping by. I do have a new hunt video available here on the channel. It went up uh, last night, I believe, <coughs> over here on Dis About Action Figures. Um, again, always please check out those hunt videos. Leave a comment if you can. This is where Greg says, this is the part where Tim tells us what we have to do, right, Greg? And um, so again, appreciate the support. Um, if you could, after this video ends, please leave a comment. You can say whatever you want. You can say stinky shark poop. You could say um, this guy is awesome. You could say we're going to need a bigger boat. You can say whatever you like, but the comments do help uh, push us out a little bit further as we try to get these videos <clears throat> out to more people. So good luck tomorrow. Excuse me. <clears throat> good luck tomorrow on your G.I. Joe hunts, everybody. Good luck tomorrow on your G.I. Joe pre-orders, I should say. I will be trying to get a Viper, and I'll tell you right now, if I get a Viper tomorrow, I will open a Viper on Live at 705. Finally. After I st stared at him for months, I will finally get my hands on that piece of plastic and crack that sucker open. All right, everybody. So if you're new, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell for notifications because then you'll know when I post more videos about toys that you can check out. And again, I just want to say one more last thing. I'm looking back for the name. I'm sorry. I can't think of it. The gentleman who said he was on the Nimitz. I'm sorry I'm blanking on your name. Um, I just want to say thank you again for your service, sir, uh, to our country. It's greatly appreciated as well. So, all right, everybody. Take care. Have a fantastic night. Drink some water. It's freaking hot. And I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs. <laughs>